All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action taking it about the one and his guys will get the football right at the 20 go, yard line let's go, let's go. out comes the Raiders offense they'll go on offense first to start quarter number three they're in a bit of a bind a pretty big bind down 20 nothing as they start here on first and ten start the drive throw right side is caught by Belitnikov and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line that looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do you just put the ball on him and then let him run yeah, he's got some space line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 he'll look to throw he finds his target, Allen. And he'll be he out of bounds, this. but able to get it up past the 45. That was a really nice job there, stretching zone coverage by running that route deep enough before breaking it back towards the sideline and being open. And a precise throw for the reception of the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now back to throw. This is brought in by Casper. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll look to throw again. This is Casper catching it out right. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Second and five. And he's going to go down here as sack. They push him back to the 34. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do.
And this one is right through. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Jets offense now, getting set to start off this third quarter. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. Well. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? Touchdowns. On first and ten now, Namath. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a big play that time by the Jets. And as you saw right there, this has got a pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there, catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He could also be a weapon downfield as well. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, a give to Martin. Room here to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They run, Martin. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. To throw is Namath. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Throwing his Namath. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time, three here. Not the worst thing in the world. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll run for it. Martin. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Lots of plays on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They come out with one back and three tight ends. 
Now here's Snell. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Off the play fake, it's Namath. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And that Set. one really Go. pushes him back. A loss of Go. nine. And now it's third and goal after the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Namath now from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And his kick is good. Push this lead up to 20 now. So three more points tacked on, and this margin getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They go play action here on first down. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll look to throw here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that on yourself. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw here. And it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time. And now it's second down. 
You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw. That's caught out left side by Casper. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Extra point splits the uprights, and that cuts this lead down to 13. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting after the perimeter. Those might be open for him. Starting the drive with Snell. Big hold of the 30, and finally taken down at the 36 yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On first down, it's Snell again, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Namath. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. We know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. The Jets on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Name it to throw. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. On the handoff, it's Snell. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second and eight coming up. Uh, play fake, now Namath. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out. We play to win. After review, we play. Ruling on appeal. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A give to Martin here, out of the gun. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Namath. And a quick throw here. That's complete. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third at about seven left. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Going right side here, and that's complete. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not 
totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Snell on the shotgun handoff. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Raiders gonna burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Snell yet again. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now Namath. Touchdown, Jets! From a yard out. And the Jets have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So don't care if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call the game over until it's over. Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Working with second and five now. They'll look to throw. Allen has it, left side. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? 
and who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home.